I am Hensona Anak Muna, the head of the Women Bureau of Mandaram Besar Longkaus in Black District of Brunei Darussalam. And we produce traditional handicraft of handwoven basket and bags through our social enterprise called Mandaram Woven Arts. The Ibans or Sea Dayak, a branch of the Dayak people of, on the islands of Borneo in Southeast Asia. Dayak is a title given by the Westerners to the local people of Brunei and Borneo Islands. However, our tribe is commonly called Iban. Our great great grandparent uh, migrated from the Iban engineers community of Sarawak, Malaysia. Our Mandaram Besar Longhouse is located deep in the jungle near the border of Brunei and Sarawak, Malaysia. There are 11 families living in our longhouse where 50 members live permanently there. The younger generation, including me, has moved out and live near the urban areas as we build our own families. But we all come back home in the longhouse during the weekends, holiday and festivals. Around 200 members will gather in the longhouse. Waving of the traditional baskets, bags and all short Handicraft mats of bamboo and rattan material sourced from the jungle have been away alive for the ingenious women of Pandaram Besar Longhouse. We established our woman burial in 2008 under our Longhouse Village Council. I was chosen as the head of the woman burial with eight members. Today, there are 25 women members with a ranging from 25 to 70, 70 years old. I lead, I lead the woman burial to produce quality product to be sold to tourists tourist in our in our costume customer visiting our longhouse. The one the one village one product or one K one P initiative of our Brunei government established as the platform for 1K1P social enterprise like cars in Brunei Darussalam to promote and widen our products market reach directly to buyers. This initiative is very good encourage, encouraging village, villages to produce a product, sell and generate income for the village. The handwoven bags, basket and mats and other handicraft products become the 1K1P project of Mandaram Besar Longhouse. We make our traditional handwoven basket, bag, hats, mats, and many others assorted any craft using traditional design and pattern that respect represents our culture and heritage. Our woven products promote sustainable income and enhance self sufficient professionary among our ingenious women members during local resource found in our community. Customers of our product are local from different districts of the country. Foreign stores also came to buy our product before the pandemic. During COVID-19, Brunei was lucky to have 15 months of being free from COVID after the first wave. During those months, domestic tourism became popular and experienced an increase in our visitors in the longhouse as well as increase in the sales of our woven handicrafts. We also joined local exhibition of the consumer face in Brunei. This made our product more visible in our local market and helped increase our sales. We are grateful for the support of our Brunei government since through the 1K1P initiative, we are supported to join the international expos like Octop Fair in Bang Bangkok, Thailand in 2015 and the China ASEAN Expo in 2017. We were honored by the presence of His Majesty of the Sultan of Brunei Darussalam visited the foot of Mandaram Besar Longhouse during the 14th Chinese ASEAN Expo last September 2017 in Nanning, Guangxi, China. Recipient of the COVID-19 relief grant 
in September 2020 through the ASEAN Wise Fellowship, used the grant to purchase sewing machine and raw materials as well as for capacity building activities such as a basic financial literary course. The sewing machines enable the woman to create premium products such as woven bags and basket with lining using fabric and zippers inside. We are indeed graduated to the following. Full supported by the One Village One Product or One K One Peace Scheme of His Majesty Government of Brunei Darussalam. Two is the mentorship of the facility specialization of COVID-19 really grant from the ASEAN Wise Fellowship 2021 by the Angels of Impact. And three, the guidance of coordination of all the activities of the ASEAN Wise Fellowship program with Women Bureau and the Angel of Impact by Project Women in Girl Development or Project Women Brunei. We also have now become more confident in Mandaram Woven Arts Social Enterprise because we are now gaining new knowledge in basic fin financial literacy of pro and proper administration of our small business. Gain a new brand where we can put it in our product label and have a good identity. Gain new image where we can promote the quality of our products and traditional designs create new product lines such as the premium item with lining using fabric. Open new market after joining the ASEAN WISE Fellowship 2021. Gain more profit as we learn our product pricing strategy. And we are looking forward for a brighter future post-pandemic. 